Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in Philadelphia at Venture Customs. They are a custom camper van conversion shop, but they also do other custom projects like uh, mobile dog grooming I, I saw outside. And I saw this out in the park lot and I wanted to know all about it. And he was nice enough to bring it inside and he's gonna give us a little tour for the channel today. Uh, this is Roman with Venture Customs. Welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hey guys, it's Roman with Venture Customs and this is our avocado. We named it Avocado because it's our little mess around van that we built for not like us, mess with little weekend trips and it feels like an avocado. We painted it wrapped through liner green and uh, black wrapped around down here because uh, we knew we were going to take this van off-roading a lot and uh, so we put some bigger tires on her and um, she does really well off-road, surprisingly well with a little slip differential. We, uh, we would take us off road so much that like we would take it through little gaps in the forest that like an ATV goes through and there's still no scratches. So it's been holding up really well, surprisingly well. Um, and we did that uh, here at the shop. Uh, and then we recently just added a roof deck, which is one of my favorite additions. And then on top of that, in front of it, we put a little LED or big LED bar, single row, super bright, love that thing and a couple LED pods, uh, cause we end up at night, of course, looking for a camping spot and the ability to light up the whole parking lot helps. This is a pretty simple weekender. We have a you know, little kitchenette here. It's a low top. Yeah. I hit my head about five times a day on it. Um, and uh, faceless drawers and cabinets. Um, it's pushed to open. Um, drawer sliders by Accuride. They're heavy duty. These things are sweet. Um, and this is where we hide our fridge. It's 12 ounce isotherm. Um, and yeah, it's perfect. You can either make it a freezer or a fridge. And a little closet here. Still plenty of storage, even though it's a little van. Um, it's, it's enough to, we actually at one point had four people. Uh, sleep in here and up on the ceiling we have a beetle kill pine tongue and groove ceiling which is one of my favorite parts of this van because uh you know it's beetle kill because it's that beetles kill it and it gives it this you know blue details in the wood and it's really nice to look at when they're and uh we have the uh, spray foam insulation above that and throughout the whole van uh keeps it nice and warm and it's such a small van we have a nice little uh, Chinese uh, diesel heater and it's been working really good for us um, and it heats up this van in, in like a couple minutes because it's such a small square footage and we have vinyl uh, flooring here with the wooden base uh, base board underneath it and uh, underneath the kitchen the tow cake we have some LEDs that run up all the way up to uh, the little upper cabinet here that I made uh, that have the cool mountains. We'll get to that. Um, and here we have a little switch for the water pump. And same, pretty simple um, water storage that you usually get. Um, seven gallon fresh, seven gallon gray. Um, you can take them out. There's plenty of room here for other little things to store uh, with the flow jet water pump um, and uh, rubber hoses it kind of helps it expand if it does freeze and we forget to winterize it uh, this pulls out pretty far uh, and you can shower outside we use it to wash off our dirt bikes mountain bikes because this is like a fun getaway quick weekender so it, we, we use it we use every part of this van it's, it's great and uh, this is a big countertop that I made uh, from scratch. It's MDF board with uh, Formica over the top. Uh, I custom made this whole thing into the van um, and it's really sturdy. We actually had a person sleep on it and it's, it's great. Uh, little light switch here uh, with the dimmable option and uh, four USB ports for charging your phones, 
drones, whatever you can think of. Max Air fan with the uh, 7500K Deluxe with the remote control. Uh, little van again, so it makes a really nice circulation of air in here. And this little upper cabin, one of my favorite features in the van. I kind of cut out these little mountains. I was just kind of thinking about, you know, the mountainy style that this van kind of makes you feel of. Uh, sweet, sweet little cabinet. And uh, underneath here, we oh, that was open already. So I pushed the open drawer. And we have like all the bedding, sheeting, blankets here um, for the bed. Uh, which is pretty simple to fold out. I'll demonstrate it. Uh, these are Velcroed on so they don't flop around while you're driving. So you just take that, put it over there, and the backrest becomes the support for the bed. And that's pretty much how you fold out the whole bed. We'll get to that soon, but it's a nice, simple layout system. Um, and two people can sleep here comfortably in a tiny van like one of my favorite parts about this thing um, and then the rest of the thing just put on the countertop and then also just flip out make sure that thing is out the back up and then you just throw these cushions on throw the sheet over and it's a pretty comfortable bed a lot more comfortable than i thought initially because it's a thin foam um, but you don't feel the board or anything it's actually a nice sleep and here we used a Malmine sheet for uh, for the walls underneath it we have spray foam insulation and that keeps this van really really warm and the white gives it a nice open feeling even though it's a nice and tight space this van is actually the same length as a Toyota Camry so um, it still looks pretty big in here and that's why we love this thing and here we have some storage uh this is where we keep the utensils a little inverter in there um oh, double click um little coleman grill and uh that's where we store that just take it out cook right there turn the fan on the exhaust and this was the most fun drawer to build because it goes over the wheel well that's why it's shaped like this um but this is where you keep the propane tanks for the burner and some of the big utensils you want to cook with. Uh, and here um, this is where you keep the dishes, cups. Uh, I kept this big because I'm going to build another countertop slide out here. Uh, so you can just eat right here. Um, same thing here, more storage. And underneath that, that's where the 200 AGM 200 amp hour AGM Renogy battery sits and the fuse panel and all those electronical components. And here we'll come out through the back of the van and we'll show you what the rest of it is looking like. Let's pop it open like that. You have a little cubby for more storage here and um, a nice walk through here. And I actually open the doors when I pull up to park or out to hitch up my enclosed trailer. We fill it up with Dirtplex and head out with the boys and uh, you know, uh, hit some trails. Uh, and I like to be able to have the ability to park my mountain bike or a dirt bike here. Um, it's uh, This was a really cool way to keep the van being able to do all those utility type things that you would want to do. Uh, but uh, like you would want in a pickup truck. But it's a van. Can't really uh, and put a little ladder here to get up onto the roof deck. It was a little curved, so we had to make little shims over there. Um, and it's really easy to climb up. Yeah. Then you grab onto the here. And we got a big roof deck up here. It's a pretty awesome addition, and we use it a lot more than I thought we would. Uh, um, we got a little picnic up here. Uh, it's really sturdy and it doesn't make that much noise on the highway, surprisingly. Um, and uh, we built this also, we're gonna have some D-rings here, so you can put some straps in and kind of have even more storage when you don't have enough. You wanna go across country, you probably want some 
more storage. So this is a nice way to keep it. Well, Roman, you got a beautiful shop here right in Philadelphia and you got a lot of projects going on in the back. Thank you very much for taking the time to give our viewers a tour of your own personal fun project. How do our viewers find you on social media if they wanted to follow some of your builds? Uh, YouTube, we just started a YouTube channel, so put up the YouTube channel. Uh, Instagram is a great way to keep up with it. And um, Facebook, all platforms really. So I'll make sure I include some links at the bottom of this video in the description so you guys could uh, hop on and check out Venture Customs. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it, comment, enjoy. I'll see you soon. See you guys.